Right then, camera's been playing up a bit, don't like the mist. There are a few cows out in corners here and there, mean and some sheep. No sign of any hikers coming across the field there. And there is going to be a slight deviation today from what I normally do, but then I might do this walk in reverse all the way to Wells as soon as there is a good day. I would do it in reverse, but it's only got to be absolutely guaranteed good weather. I will do it again. Yeah, I will do it again. It's beautiful. I've enjoyed it. I, um... So I'm going to walk up to the stile near the copse. Then I'm going to walk past the cottage and go through a gap over there, which I want what, what I want to do. And one day I want to go that way across to the hump of where the hut is. It's got some significance, something to do with the war, I think. You never know, we might see Glastonbury. I did see it when I was on the bus, when there was a little bit of light. Then it disappeared into the mist. It's not a brilliant day for photography, everyone. Uh, some videos haven't come out because uh, I didn't realize it was playing up and somehow I'd moved the setting. So there could be several videos that haven't come up. Um, right. This is always a great place to see Glastonbury. And I'm going to zoom in, but before I do that, I'll just zoom back to Pretty Burrows. Which are right back on the hill back there. There we go. If I want to do them, I've got to walk from... Uh, I don't, I really don't like doing West Mundup Hill. <laughs> Tell the truth, I really don't like doing it really. It's a hell of a hike up there. Now over there. There it is. Glastonbury. I haven't been there for <coughs> several years. I'll go there this summer though, one way or another. I'm going to take a picture now. Right then, I had to turn back, there wasn't a way, yet. well there was a way, but you meant you had to go a long way down and then they, there was a fence surrounding the cottage now. So I wasn't quite sure if I'd get through. It's just that there is a route that I've seen people use over the humpy bumpy bits. But I did say to myself that I would do that another time and just spend some time over Piney uh, Draycott Slides and, and, and study this area without go having too big a walk and maybe even going back on the bus from uh, Draycott, do you know what I mean? So here I am folks, there could be cows the other side, I've got no idea, but they have just released a big herd over there. There could still be cows in there. Cow pack, look. So I, do, I think they do move them around, actually. So uh, uh, there could be cows here yet. <laughs> could go on the humpy bumpy bit as well. There's plenty of time. It's only up past one. Cheddar in fire. Piney Sl uh, Draycott Slights is only just over there, where there is always a big herd. Yeah, I don't really want to go back yet. I know my feet are wet. Now I'm going to leave that for another day. I'll come back and explore the humpy bumpy bits. It's probably to do with mining, or it could be an ancient barrow. Those humpy bits there. Yeah, it could be. I feel sorry for the person who lives in that cottage though, because um, he's got his window, his curtains shut downstairs all the way round. It's a bit like a greenhouse. And uh, basically, people must, people are curious. They go and, they probably have a look, you know. 
There is history here, I know that. There is history here. Over there is the aerodrome for gliders. Over there. The thing is the camera won't... It's up there. Yeah, it's working at the moment, it's unusual. <laughs> it's working. Just as Crook's Peak comes into view. Over there. There it is. Crook's Peak. Alright, well, so we came right across those fields. We had a lovely walk. It was very misty and quite a hard climb this morning up from West. Westbury Submend, uh, quite a hard climb. Right over there as well, we've got um, Bring Down, and behind that steep home. There we go. Good views of them, even though it's a grey day, I, I'm able to pick them up. Uh, it's going be windy, it won't be, the video footage will not be good, but it's saved for posterity. That's what I always say to people. Saved for posterity. I respect that's all, that could have been a barrow, but it could also have been mining. What's left from the surface mining. Somebody wanted to get in that. You can get in, there's another stile further up. You can get in there. But I'm gonna, I want to leave that for a nice day. I can come over here and sit and have a picnic. All that sort of thing. Before me is sun, sun landing on the Mendip Hills over there. Sun landing on the Mendip Hills. Right over there. Yeah, I'm really glad I've done this walk. This walk is impossible, everyone, most of the year. I've had to do it on a very grey, wet day. But I still, enjoy, I still enjoy it, but it's obviously always much nicer when the weather's good. Do you know what I mean? And it's warm sunshine on you. A lovely warm sunshine on your bones. That is a lovely scene there, over there, look. That's a lovely scene, that. Of course, I'm not out of the woods yet, you know, as far as cows are concerned. Depending which way I go back into Cheddar, there could be cows. <sighs> but I'll probably do Middle Down Drove and down through the ponies and the Middleton Middle Down Reserve. I won't use the West Mendip Way uh, on this occasion because I've I decided I'll just go, it's, uh, I just don't really want too much trauma today. I've already been stalked. Well, it, it, it was a stalker. Come on, it was. Over and out for a minute. <laughs> 